Howdy, and welcome to Texas A&M University, established in 1876, home to the Food Protein Research and Development Center, a division of TEAS, the Engineering Research Agency for the State of Texas. The Food Protein R&D Center was founded in 1939 and has been providing practical instruction with their short course series since 1981. Their unique approach to educating participants involves hands-on practical instruction with equipment after detailed lectures regarding those technologies. Every August, the Extrusion Technology Program hosts their annual short course on food extrusion for cereals, protein, and other ingredients. Food topics range in variety from snack foods to texturized vegetable protein. Lectures and live equipment demonstrations incorporate a variety of extruders and other food processing equipment, such as this spray surface coater. Industry experts from all over are involved with the food extrusion lectures and demonstrations. Some demonstrations have multiple stages so the participants are able to see the series of processes to make a product from the beginning to the end. At each step of the production process, they can interact with the industry experts and the products being made. Participants can smell, touch, and feel the ingredients and extradits. The head of the Extrusion Technology Program at Texas A&M University, Dr. Mian Riaz, is often known to taste the products being made during the short course. Participants are encouraged to bring their laptops so they can follow along with the speaker's presentations on the digital ebook manual provided. The six goals of the Food Extrusion Short Course are to explore extrusion processing and its hardware, identify current practices for processing texturized vegetable protein, examine the processing of different food ingredients, study the applications and benefits of texturized vegetable protein in different food systems, demonstrate different food-related equipment in operation, and help participants learn and understand whole grain cereals and legumes processing. This demonstration is one of the more popular events Soybeans are processed through a dry extruder to make full fat soy with the oil brought to the surface and pressed to make cake. The cake will be ground into a meal and then extruded in a different dry extruder to make texturized vegetable protein. Here you can see the removal of the oil to make the low fat cake. The annual week long food extrusion course will be held in August. Short course participants receive lunches across the campus tours of Kyle Field Football Stadium, visits to the Corps of Cadets Museum, and a certificate at the end of the course. The Extrusion Technology Program hosts multiple short courses throughout the year. You can visit their website, foodprotein.tamu.edu extrusion, or you can contact them directly for more information.